Welcome out, gamers and gamettes, to this RGL.GG invite grand finals match going down between last season champions, the kids next door, and season three upstarts, Apollo Dosh. I'm Alto, joined by Zag with me for the co-cast and Flair on analysis. Dolphin behind the camera, as always. Zag, Flair, how are you guys doing tonight? I'm doing good. Excited to see this matchup. We have K&D, you know, Dynasty at this point. Every season, it seems they're in the top of invite. They make it the playoffs. They make the finals. They win very frequently and very recently as well. They've been the dynasty team of RGL ever since that season one, where they did unfortunately take a loss. But ever since then, they've been all winning, and they're looking to keep that streak up tonight. Yeah, same. You know, definitely going to be a really uh, interesting match going on tonight with a lot of these. Um, as pretty much exactly what uh, Zach was saying, just with the dynasty team going on. I'm interested to see if there's going to be a lot more. Uh, ooh. I mean, inform my voice is awful. I'll fix that in a second first. Yeah, that mic is a bit rough. Yeah, we can go on for a, a bit. bit of the ping. Um, but yeah, you know, we're coming in. These two teams have played each other twice so far this season. Once back in week six on Upward, where KD took a pretty dominant 2 0 victory over them. And then as recently as two weeks ago in the upper bracket finals, where KD once again won, taking a 2 0 on Upward yet again, and then a 3 1 on Cascade. Uh, moving into tonight, though, we do have some different maps. And if Zag, you want to run those down? Sure. Uh, the first ban from AD was upward, you know, not losing twice. You kind of want to get that out of there. Candy responded with a vigil ban and then a Swiftwater pick. So our first map right now is going to be Swiftwater. AD responded with an Asheville pick as they did lose their favorite Cascade two weeks ago. Candy responded by banning Cascade and then last picking product as the tiebreaker. Yeah, I don't think any of these are too surprising. Uh, Zag and I were having some discussion a little bit beforehand on why they might have gone for Asheville over Cascade, given that we know... Uh... AD likes Cascade, but I think one of those may have to do with one of the uh, player issues in here tonight, where Art Suspanion is not in here on demo. We will have Lazar instead playing demo for AD. Uh, but beyond that, I do want to talk a little bit about uh, just the maps otherwise, since we see that KND did ban Vigil and Cascade, as you know, we're kind of ought to see the top teams banning out the newer maps, just because there's a little bit more potential for cheese. So what are your takes on these, Zag, and how do you think uh, the teams came out of them? Uh, I think it's a very standard pick ban for what we could expect. Upward, obviously, Candy is unbeatable on that map. You know, in recent times, no one really has been able to contest them on it. So that's out of there. Vigil, everyone knows how much AD loves Vigil, and KD aren't fans of that map. It's new, it's a bit scary, and while they do have a good bearing on it, it's better to get that cheese out of there, like you said. Uh, Swiftwater, reliable pick for KD. It's longer version of Upward with more upset potential, you know, a bit stranger patterns than Upward at this point, but still very safe for them. AD going for Asheville. Now, here's where it gets interesting. AD's strengths in the in the most recent weeks have been their flank it, with Wish and Dev. Dev going absolutely crazy in that lower bracket match, so they probably wanted to pick Asheville to try to get that flank advantage over Bani and Habib. That is a tough ask, but they believe that it's their best chance to take a map. And then KD with the product pick. It's product. You have Boar. You know, let him go off. Actually, I want to say that our uh, our info might be uh, off here because it looks to me like we have we have it written as that K and D ban Cascade, but it would be AD getting that last ban, meaning that it would have been AD actually banning Cascade. So, a bit surprising that uh, they were that they were that kind of afraid of K and D on Cascade that they'd more rather give them to either uh, Product or Steel, two maps that you know K and D is very well practiced on, as opposed to that newer map. So a bit of an interesting there to note as well. Um, and I did mention that uh, roster change with Lazar being here over Arts Espanion. They have also gotten their main heavy back, that being Ronnie J, off of the ban list just in time for finals. So I know we were talking again before about how you know we thought that'd play out, and you were saying that it might be a bit of a side grade, even though a lot of people would consider Carson to be the better heavy who they had in recent weeks. Yeah, I do believe that the combo is more used to running Ronnie J, and they do have that inherent synergy. AD's been a team for a while now, you know, kind of playing at you know top invite level. And when your main heavy big piece of your combo is missing, it may throw you off a bit. Carson, no slouch as a substitute, but having Ronnie will help them, especially with Arts being gone. And on that note, we should run down the rosters real quick. I'll start with AD. We'll have Wish on Scout, Dev on Soldier, River on Pyro, Lazar on Demo Man, Ronnie J on Heavy, X on Engineer, Wall on Medic, Shay on Sniper, and mad on spy perfect and then coming in on the kids next door we will have you know him you love him grant vincent banny on scout habib on soldier oblivion on pyro jared on demo kresnik on heavy scratchy on engineer nursey on medic boar on sniper and demento or jacob on spy 
Yep. Uh, Candy been running with that same trusty roster all season for the most part. They did need to sub out uh, a couple players at some point. We saw Jarrett flexing around and uh, Kresnik coming back from his cast with us last week to play heavy for them right now. So Candy, super strong roster coming in. They are definitely the favorites, we have to say. And it's going to be interesting to see how they take maps like Swiftwater. I want to see if they're going to be able to play it as quickly as they're used to, or if AD is going to be able to slow them down a bit. Not having arts is going to be rough for that defense. Hey, is uh, sounding good right now? Uh, you're better. All right, fantastic. Uh, Flair, what are you thinking about uh, AD's chances on some of these map picks? Because we do see Swiftwater first. We can kind of elaborate a bit more on this first map as we're going to be going into it soon. Hmm. Swiftwater is a kind of a more interesting map. It's really choky. There's a lot of different places where ooh, we're going to be starting to set up to, but just because it's really choky and a lot of the fights and a lot of the pushes rely on having good pre-planned uh, setup and good execution throughout, you're not going to see a lot of straight up DM fights not even remotely close to something like Upward, where people are going to be kind of 1v1ing all the time, challenging each other. So we're going to have to take a look to see how the team set themselves up. If AD has been preparing some good strats coming into Swift Water, they definitely stand a chance of pulling rounds off and maybe even outright winning Swift Water against KND. So I'd, I'd love to see how that turns out. And um, we're just going to have to watch for the leadership and for the playmaking abilities of these players when we're on AD. Yep, and we are going to be starting off here. We do see... We have Candy on the defense. Uh, they've done the crit stickies on the house. Bowl of Mayo loves doing those. So we have those set up. Nurse can get ferried back with Uber very shortly. And right now we're going to be going to this first push. We see Boar on these side cylinders right next to the AD spawn. I don't know if this is a good idea, but it's definitely an idea. So we'll have to see if he's able to kind of cheese a shot. He's hoping to hit wall. He's definitely hoping to hit wall with this one. Shay putting in chat, can you guys throw? Boar may or may not be contributing to that. Depends on who he's able to kill here. Why did right Ronnie? Shot on Ronnie. Oh, he's going to get swarmed. Wait, Benny. He's going to hit another headshot. Actually, yeah, Banny around there too. Both of them going to go down. That was enough to take out Ronnie, but uh, I, I guess they're, they're looking just to get as many kills as they can here. You know, you have about 40 seconds or so before that cart's going to get capped. So if you can die, get back in before, then you'll be good. We see Demento uncloaking, going right in on Shea. Going to take out that sniper as well, just to maybe ease up the pressure a little bit. But otherwise, you know, times three on card for AD. Things are going good. Yeah, Jared got picked on that outside by a nice revolver shot from Mad. So with that, they're going to be losing. They'll also sniper and demo. Or just coming back now to peak the angle. And Card is almost up that first, uh, down that first ramp onto the point. So here's the back out from KD. Uh, all their players are alive right now. Let's see how fast AD wants to take this. They have... All their players alive, you know, their medic's going to be coming out of spawn very shortly. Don't see any spies in the works to try to drop wall here. So it is going to be kind of that group towards that upper apartments area right now. If the card gets a bit further, we'll see AD want to trade this shortly. Yeah, and I mean, a lot of the times on Swift Order, speed is the name of the game. The second hold can be very long, and a lot of the times on offense, getting that trade off just early, if you can keep your med, keep some players up, can be very good because it eliminates that defensive option. Dev is walking straight Yeah, through. going right in. He's not. He's going to go down, get some good damage onto Oblivion, but that's about it. Three more going to die in quick succession. Sack not going too well, but Wall and Ronnie going to sit there up and upper. Should be fine to go right now. Yeah, it's just a quick play to try to get anything you can. Any pick is helpful there. They sacked in four players, weren't able to get anything. Very good defense from Candy. And their flank has stalled the card at the same time. It's now at this tunnel entrance, and they're going to need to get pressure forward in multiple places to get it any further. So right now, it's almost time for that Uber exchange. Yeah, they're playing very far back here, which is not what we normally see from teams. Normally, you like to be a little closer on that doorway, but Jared's content to just sit back, spam in using that low ground kind of as cover. We see Dev going in again, River as well, also going to go down, Wish and Shea going down. I believe that was on the flank side. So, KD men maintaining a very oh. solid hold here as, oh, Habib pushing up into tunnel with Banny, going to take out the flank there. We will see uh, a return kill back onto Habib and Banny, actually. Matt coming up big with the revolver, taking out the flank there. That's like something to, that could be something to look for in the coming moments. Yeah, they got three kills now. That's pretty long spawn timers on Banny and Demento. So you have time to push in and maybe get pressure on that cart since the scout and spy are down. So we'll have to see what they decide to do here. Peeking a shutter, and here's the Uber exchange coming out. Yeah, they're coming in. The gun is going to go down. Already spammed out from Dev in tunnel. We see Oblivion going to stuff them back. Nursey has not even used Uber yet. They're going to need to get the force. And River Will going in right there. Wall's going to make it out, but she is alone. Ronnie and Lazar both going down to Stickies right at the end there. So while able to get the Uber, get the gun, they got Cart out of tunnel. Ultimately, no ground gain for AD. 
Yeah, it's a good start. You know, you get that Uber out, your medic stays alive, and you get the cart out of that tunnel choke. So now you have a lot more options coming in when you try to collapse on the cart. Uh, right now, they just need to build up a second Uber. And if they can get second and two Ubers, then that's a pretty okay start coming out. Keep in mind, they did do two sack waves, so that might be a bit behind. Uh, trying to pop your shutter as fast as they can, RAD, but River gonna get killed by those sticky bombs. And a stab in main by Demento onto Lazar. So fighting wall right now in the 1v1. Oh, she got a saw. HP. Yeah, got so they're saw, both very low, escapes. so... Wall actually had add there somehow, despite not having anyone to heal, you know, getting out of that Uber alone. She will have a pretty significant add over Nursey now, 20%, and if they go off of that, that should be very good. If they just take River in, there's a sticky trap on the door, but otherwise things should be good, and they are about to have Uber. Yeah, and Boar got out sniped by Shay there, so no sniper means you're safe to walk in main. We do see Wish walking out onto this cart, getting time on, and KD right now playing lower in this apartment's area, not going to contest the shutter at all yet. They're just going to wait for AD to push in, but Nursey has Uber. They have not gone fast enough, and we're back to a stalemate right now. Yeah, Wall may be unaware of how much of an ad she had, probably not expecting it as normally Nursey just, you know, always builds faster than other medics. And coming in, Ronnie's gonna go try to pick off Presnick down and lower after he killed the card pushers, but will go down to Jared on a six streak. They take the Uber in right now onto Lazar. He's getting spam off, but Oblivion's just pogoing in into the air right now. Wall's gonna be forced to escape without her demo man. And AD, not too much more ground left in on second. Well, Lazar got out by Sticky jumping out main when he surfed uh, Kresnik's bullets, so he will escape. The river going in, dying at the end. Shea, kill onto Demento, no spy to worry about. He has a couple angles he can work with now, but not much doing on that push. They kind of went late. Repush now coming they're going to repush in through whips. shutter. Yeah, they're going to get Dev in there with the whips, but it's they're going to take out Kresnik. No, Nursery going down, actually. Dev was able to find the rockets before he died, and now Wall, Lazar, and River are going to try to be the three musketeers pushing into upper here, and it looks like K&D's calling the back out. Yeah, Scratchy's gun got two cart pushers, though. Wish and Exa going down, so that's going to delay a lot of time, and no one's on it right now. Shay, you got to get on that cart. Habib you will get killed by bomb, Demento. Yeah. Oh, so Habib. this cart's not getting pushed still, AD. You're wasting a lot of time here. Candy's gave it up. Here's a bomb in by Habib trying to stall cart pushers more. Kills Lazar, and Demento decloaking on Dev. No one's on the cart, guys. Get on it. Yeah, Ronnie gonna drop down, almost takes that chair, but he goes down as well. They finally get the cap in, but just so much residual pressure from KD in the point. Gonna stall maybe 30 oh, seconds and Boar from, from IT. Landing, landing the shot. Goes out for the aggressive peak, finds his mark. That's gonna be Wall going down, and now all any momentum they may have gained off of that is gonna be gone as uh, Nursey's gonna have nearly a full Uber out over Wall. Yeah, just lost sight of the objective there. AD not. You know, getting people on cart that got collapsed on. Candy, such a good play call to get Demento and Habib to combine on that cart, stalling for more time. They get that set up, and Nurse is on a full Uber ad right now on this third point. We don't see third holds come through very often. It's one of those points that if you get rolled through second, it's very hard to set up on. So Candy looking really good in this round. Five minutes through two is already a very good defense for them. Wall went down again a few seconds ago. Demento taking her out with a revolver, not entirely sure where. But that's just going to be, you know, another 20, 25 seconds before AD is going to be able to push again. Now sitting on an 80% dis ad, they're just going to need to build this up, maybe try some sacks. But third is a notoriously difficult difficult point to sack on with just how jokey all those entrances is and how much ground that can, can cover. Although Scratchy's gun is very passive, so maybe they'll have some options, but I think we're just going to wait. I think it's an interesting gun spot because when you put it up top, it can get spammed out from apartments. From this angle, it really can't because of that mesh protecting it in front of the spawn gate. So that forces anyone who wants to go on cart to focus that gun down. It's not in, uh, in front of IT, but Nursey dropping the sticks in IT on that trap from the corner. Great play by Lazar to get his team that advantage back, and Wall's on 80% now. They can get ready to pressure this in. Yeah, they're just going to need to make sure nothing happens to her in these next few seconds right now. Habib playing up in abs going to be certainly looking to go for the flank. He's going to drop down, though, won't end up going in on her. She's going to have Uber right now. Are they going to use it? Lazar getting aggressive, but they are kind of playing this a little bit slow. Ronnie jumping down, sees some frags. He's going to take out Oblivion, get some good angles onto everyone else, but will go down. Kresnik on the ground, going to be traded out. The Uber does come out of wall, and there is Mad taking out Jared. Lazar killing Nursey again, right in spawn, I believe. Yeah, dying in the spawn gates. So a little bit too aggressive there, and Kane, or AD, excuse me, despite having a seven minute time through third, which really isn't that ideal, have been able to find Nursey so far. So if they can get a few more pushes in, they could have a respectable time. Yeah, seven's not the best, it's also not the worst. So they have some ground going for them. Matt got a sap on that gun early, so it won't oh, be defending. Habib. But the bomb in, gonna get denied by Habib and Kresnik on that combination. So Kane getting ready to reset, a pick onto Shea is gonna cement them in here. Mad looking for him, gonna force Demento back. Right now, Cart is being pushed around this hairpin onto the Cart Oblivion, but gets gunned down by that sentry gun. Wish going down on the side as well. So AD, a couple picks to work with. It's two. It's a 8v7 right now. Jump in from Dev, trying to get anything, and Mad on board gets that kill. 
headshot yeah, a few Shay moments ago, while Koresnik was able to deny AD's bomb, Ronnie was not able to do the same as Wall dies yet again, relinquishing that Uber ad back to Nursey right there. But it doesn't entirely look like they need it as Mad and Shay and some other players on AD going huge in terms of finding picks. They're going to cap fourth in about a minute, really, without even needing their medic for the majority of it. So if they, they've got eight minutes through four. If they can get a nine minute time, that may be holdable. Yeah, definitely. Eight minutes through fourth is definitely really good for them, considering how badly that second push went in hindsight. So right now, eight minutes total. They're going to be looking for around a nine, ten minute time. If they can do that, that'd be ideal. They're at a small disad right now, 20% disad. Wall going to be looking to build that up and then get a push in on the side. Right now, AD going to walk up to this lobby area and try to pressure through the through the windows onto the gun, which is going to get sniped out from Boar. So right now, just waiting for that Uber. They do have it, but they lost two in the process. So... I'm gonna have to wait for those spawners before you get going. We might see Mad start to decloak on the cart off spawn. It looks like AD is getting a little bit aggressive. Ronnie going for a peek out in that window. Gonna be uh, forced back after the pressure coming in on him there. But yeah, you really want your Spy to be up on this. Either just to sap the gun or, you know, cause some chaos. Because Spy can be so good on the Swift Forward last. Oblivion getting a little bit aggressive in that right tunnel. Gonna be forced back, but Wish going down again. Gonna keep the numbers advantage in KD's favor. I want to point out Nursey playing on this traffic light in the corner above those stairs. That's such a hard angle to force from because there's almost no sightline you can peek there. You can't get backstabbed. Uh, spam is very hard to get, so she will almost always get the better Uber off here on this defense as long as she doesn't fall. Here's the Uber out of the side went room. Yeah, Lazar sees her. She, she is going to be forced to pop immediately as that corner is a spam trap. Wall getting pushed all the way back in, cut off from the rest of the team, trying to get in, maybe extend that Uber with a saw, but she go down. So the AD Uber cut short right now as KD is finding the frags. Demendo really the only one down on their side as the members of AD are just dropping to everything. Cart pushed up far enough to open up the pit, but that's about it. Kresnik going to go down to River, but again, really not too many other frags, although X is level 1 on Cart. Gonna pick up Banny, Shea gets the frag onto Habib, so if they can push quickly with the respawns, they may have a little bit of an advantage to go off of. Yeah, that flank just getting gunned down at the end, so that will be an advantage for AD to try to work with, get some space and pressure. Uh, Candy forced to play on the spawn side of last right now, since they did lose their positioning on that. They have to wait for their flank members to come up before they can retake it. We do see Banny trying to take that lobby again, gonna get found by Wish. Bit of a chase going on, but Ronnie going down to Dementho is going to really deny this. Kresnik getting traded back by Lizar, so no heavies up for either team. Snipe onto Boar from Shea is going to open up a lot of angles. We just see Lizar peeking the gun from the main window here. Yeah, Shea lands another headshot onto Oblivion. Won't kill him, though, ultimately. Obliv sitting on only 3 HP, kiting for his life, gets an arrow from Nursey, and will survive. That pyro can be very crucial here in terms of just controlling area, pushing people down onto the card path. Black and mulch him on the low ground, but yeah, River also going to... Uh, Show some pyro pride, I guess, taking out Habib there as they both continue to be big players for their team. Nursey back on that traffic light with Uber 197, so hopefully we should see another Uber soon. Hopefully they get on this push for their sake, because we're getting into the 11 minute, you know, long, long swift water time territory. If they want to have a chance of pushing this later, they really got to get it off this push. And Nursey back on that traffic light, Habib going down in that side room again, so it's going to be a same uh, defense coming out from KD, but the Uber looks like it's going to come in through lobby. Uh, through the right lobby instead for the uh, defensive perspective right now. They're going to get ready to pop it out. Spy gets seen. Dementa will drop before the Uber happens. Around their bleeding time. Matt on the cart, though, getting it very close. And Ronnie forcing the Uber as well. Yeah, three down means that AD will have its numbers in this post fight. Habib going in to try to stall some of them. Wall again being forced away from the rest of her team. Exa and Wish going down, but the cart is very close. Ronnie playing on track. Gets they onto this. it right now. They, yeah, they should be able to take it. Lazar is in deep, and they will cap this in 11 and a half minutes. So not the best time that you'd want coming into this there were some bright spots in that push though and while k and d is likely to take this first half who knows if they can refine some things up they may be able to be better in that second half yeah it's it's a rough time 11 and a half is on the slow side definitely it's still doable if you're able to keep this defense stable for ad you know they can definitely pull off plays candy although is notorious for being insanely good at pushing these swift water points it takes so many angles of pressure to push a lot of these points like second and quick times and candy definitely have what it takes so not looking that good for ad but still doable in the few uh, seconds we have left in setup here, Flair, I know you've been watching from above. What did you see K&D do that really allowed them to get such a good hold in? A lot of what happens on K&D's defense is they'll keep Nursey back in a really safe position, and they'll just sit three, four people in front of her so that they spot out the Uber, they just walk behind and, and kite that Uber out as much as possible so that K&D gets a significantly better Uber almost every single time. You saw that on second where she's playing under, and especially on last where you're pointing out the little traffic light area. So maybe if... You know, just if AD decides to copy some of that and just kite the Ubers out, similarly, we'll be able to see a good performance from them. 
definitely things to watch out for here. We'll have to see how Nursey's going to play on offense. As we know, K and D is our kind of the masters of coordination. Looking to get those, <laughs> those pushes together. And Boar going to uh, single-handedly take out Wish oh right there. God. Demento oh getting God, Ronnie right outside of Tunnel. And yeah, Boar landing another one. That's going to uh, cause AD to play passively right away. That gun getting pulled very That's early into this That's such an early round. pull. That card isn't even up the very first hill. <laughs> those three entry picks making them get out of Tunnel fast. Where they get collapsed on so it's a smart back out but losing that many players means you're just going to be away from that first point it's a give up point normally but that was even more effortless than usual yeah i mean ultimately i still think it'll be about 40 45 seconds through first they've had the times three on there so it looks you know looks a little bit shaky but ultimately won't have too much of an impact in the long in the long haul but a uh, demento gonna get taken out right away no spy means no immediate picks or gun sap coming in which may stifle an immediate push Although I wouldn't be surprised if Candy decides to just go for it and try to take the DM fight. Boar versus Shay SVS in this tunnel right now. Shay gonna opt to reposition on top of that rock. So both snipers looking for that. Side tunnel, <laughs> come on, we're stop eating Boar. It doesn't work. He question marked him in chat after that one. Yeah, can't entirely blame him either as uh, kind of been going down twice to him now. You see Oblivion really the only one in upper right now. Interesting is that uh, Nursey actually is going to rotate out of tunnel. Was probably just giving buffs out to the team to allow yeah, him to yeah. take that tunnel control. As we see Dev forced out of tunnel actually. Banny going in on him. Going to take him out. Trades with Wish. But Shay able to take out Boar in that tunnel. Opens up some ground on that upper bridge for the rest of AD to play on. There's another shot onto Scratchy as well. And KD with their combo you now rotated up into apartments are just going to kind of sit here and look maybe for an advantage to go in off him. Yeah, they kind of got to wait for their uh, engineer to get back, their car pushes, their snipers. Well, Borg going to rotate off his spawn into the shutter area, so they're going to try to see if they can get a pick in upper. Uh, who's going to peek it open? It is uh, the Uber straight through on a blip. Yeah, they're just coming right in on it, but he's going to go down right off the bat. Wall gets a much better pop off. Going to save Ronnie and Lazar now going in. That's going to be Jarrett going down. Shay caught out on the backside, so no sniper here, but... Uh... Otherwise, AD sitting pretty right now. Good defense out of them. And Mad's going to come in. He stabs Kresnik. I think he might have pulled a taunt, but I might have been seeing things. The shutter's open as well. So the AD's walking forward out here, trying to get any picks they can. Ronnie going to get airblasted back. Mad trying to uh, gun down Oblivion, but it won't be able to get anything. And if Ronnie gets out alive, then this is a good play to give them some extra space and time to work with. Uh, on card side, X's gun is still level 1, so it's not fully rebuilt quite yet. Uh, Candy don't have Uber yet. Nursey does have about a 20% advantage to work with. I'm not, I'm not sure if they know that, though. X's gun under constant pressure is going to go down again, so no sentry going to allow it to be set up here. Yeah, after Scratchy lost his gun last time, we saw Exa kind of, or uh, excuse me, we saw Scratchy going down lower with it, filling it on that cart path, and that was the one that took out two of the pushers right when the uh, 82nd push went in. But the Uber will come in right now. Jarrett walking in. Wall does not have yet, it doesn't look like. Only at 95, juking for her life right now. Most of her team is already dead. She will get it, though. Pops onto River, going in to try to find anything. The WM1 coming onto Kresnik. He just has too much health. He will eventually go down, but the rest of KD going to scatter. Nursey's they caught. have to find Nursey. Yeah, it goes down to the WM WM1. Banny as well, right as Wall, going to be trapped in upper right now. Sees the uh, new doors open as the point has gotten capped and shield back out, but the, really that's only two and a half minutes, three and a half minutes through second. KD setting a very fast pace. Even though AD got six, seven kills on that defense there, that really weird, you know, jump out the window type of defense, they didn't watch for cart. KD paying attention to that objective on second, and even though they technically lost that fight with their medic dying at the end, they still got the capture, and that's what matters. If you focus that objective, you will be rewarded. So now, Wall gonna be on a small Uber at us. She did not die at the end there. Nursey did, so setup gonna come through will be another third hold gun is not quite set up it is set up from exa in the choke we saw he really likes putting those guns back there yeah it covers that drop down from red room but again we mentioned that the past time that KD was able to get may not be worth it if ad is able to settle into a third hold here but with so much pressure in it wall is being brought very low she may go down if she doesn't back out and she will escape to that back wall gonna have to go into resup oblivion running in taking the lower route almost catches her out but her team is there to protect her and with card time being pushed up, they might, just, might lose there just like this. Yeah, X's gun gonna get forced back. He's one HPS to back up, but Jarrett does go down to Mad there, so that can be recontested. Bomb in from uh, Habib gonna force that Uber out of wall right now. X's gun stayed up, so they are able to hold this, but the Uber from Nurse is out in upper. What is there? Oh is no, the Chris is at the spawn gate. She's yeah. gonna meet up with him, and now AD is forced to kite away from their own spawn. It's Crestic taking it over right now. The spawn's gun still here, gonna though. Come in. Yeah, the gun being a still a uh, kind of trapping everyone and in place they don't want to be. And yeah, eventually all of KD gonna go down to that. Crestic and Nursey going down to Ronnie. The rest of the team going down to Exa. And this third hold's coming out a lot stronger than I would have expected after Wall had that Uber for us. 
Yeah, X's gun stayed up, but he did go down. Right now, Demento gonna decloak on the cart to stop from moving backwards. It will cost his life. Habib getting killed out by Mad on that backstab. So now, Candy looking to regroup around the apartments area from the left of the spawn exit. So right now, everyone's grouped outside there with the teleporter. They're about to try to walk in, but it looks like they're gonna go into the second point apartments instead, opting to just completely refresh their push. Yeah, red room can be a little bit tricky because once you go into there, it's very difficult to get out if you get pressured. And we will see though, Shay landing the shot onto Jared as the rest bomb of KD is uh, in red room. Yeah, the bomb from Habib not gonna find anything while safe in her closet. And KD with that pressure NIT, they are gonna be pocketing Bor up in here, gonna see if he can find any shots. They are peeking him a little bit risky, but oh, Wish goes in close. Sees that uh, Bor has backed up though, and Kresnik is sitting up on that ledge, so. More of a bit of a stalemate, probably until Nessie gets Uber. The cart has been moving back this entire time. Ronnie J has been doing a fantastic job standing on it, staying alive, and forcing that cart to roll backwards. And right now, this is completely reset. Uh, Habib on gonna be on that DH right now, trying to get spam off, but he can't actually see the gun from apartments when it's in that choke position. He's gonna rotate to the other window, and then he gets it. Demento on Exa, not gonna hit that stab, <laughs> but will not kill him off with the revenge Uber's crisis, so that will go down. Though. And yeah, Nursey gonna be forced scattering right now. Jared gonna be forced to leave out through choke as well. Khabib gets the direct hit mini crit onto Shay. Yeah, that back end belongs to KD is... right now. They have the Apollo Dosh choke into fourth. And here's the bombman with the DH gonna get that kill onto uh, Lazar with some help and Will Wall gonna be forced to back up into spawn. So this will be a third cap for KD, but very good third hold from AD. They definitely milked all the time they could out of that, and the meta got out. Yeah, kind of helping to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Helping to supplement that second hold there with that extra time there. They are under five minutes, and K&D probably is still looking likely to take this round, but if they can knock off, you know, another two, three minutes on fourth, then this hold will actually look to be serious, but Shea going down, not what you want there, as is gonna get very aggressive off of that. Yeah, we do see uh, the combo walking forward up onto that tree Demento area. Banny's in there with Nursey pocketing Habib over the top with DH. Wall has gone down, so no heals for AD. They're going to be forced to back off this real quick. Yeah, Shea staying aggressive, looking to see if he can get a fadeaway shot onto Nursey. Going to have to give it up, though. Goes back into spawn with the rest of the team. 60% add on Nursey coming into last. This card should be capped sooner rather than later, as it looks like AD has completely given it up. So they'll have likely four minutes to push last. Yep, and it doesn't look like any contest is going to come out. They're willing to just let Candy walk it up as they have no ground into fourth whatsoever. And they're at about a 60% uber dis at Nursey, coming up on 90% shortly. So Candy going to be looking to get this in one push. They have Boar right now on the ramp trying to peek in. Does not hit that shot into Shay right away, so he will rotate out. Cart slowly getting pressured up by Banny. Yeah, Walt coming up on 50 now, so KD still has another probably 15, 20 seconds to get in here without any chance of Walt having. Other than that though, Cart just now being pushed down the ramp, only minis for Scratchy. So that level three, we like to see Exa run on this point, will not be there to stop uh, people from dropping down as aggressively as otherwise, but KD is getting put in, put into position in lobby here, and they are gonna use only 75% on Walt. Yep, so we're gonna have to kite back into spawn. Candy get multiple kills. Ronnie Jane Wish going down. Ward did get sniped by Shea, but all the cart pressure is heavy. Uh, AD gotta get out on that cart. They wanna stop this from going in, but they're kind of trapped out. Air Blast from Oblivion are gonna keep them out, and they are gonna get that capture in and take the first round. Yeah, and there it goes. Nursey picking up a 2K for herself on the back end of that, taking out the sniper and engineer with the big uh, with the big medic plays. But yeah, I think that was about what we kind of expected from KD. I want to say those are around an eight or nine minute time. I believe that they ended up pushing a little bit longer thanks to that uh, third hold coming out of AD. But other than that, on the more traditional points, they looked really good. Yeah, definitely. Super clean pushes when it came down to it. Their second, they had proper objective focus. And even though that fight is so hard to win from an offensive point of view, they were able to just focus that objective down and get that time. Uh, the f the, first, the fourth push, they got it off a of snowballing third. So even though AD had a, such a good third hold, they just weren't able to properly reset. They had their medic, but then they have their gun and their sniper got immediately stabbed. So without that sniper, without that gun, and without Uber, KD were just able to brute force their way into probably the second hardest point to take on the map. And before I throw it over to Flair so we can get a little bit more, I do want to point out right now, Jarrett, 500 DPM on the logs, way higher than anyone else in the server. As a Lazar, I don't even believe broke three. No, he was at 400, excuse me. But Nursey also tying Oblivion and Frags. <laughs> and with that out of the way, uh, Flair, what, what contributed to KND's, you know, strong success on that offense? Well, the first stat line I want to point to is 
the medic deaths on the on the logs here, you'll see that Nursi actually died one time more than Wall. But what's interesting is when you're watching the game, you'll notice that Nursi mostly died after Ubers, whereas Wall was dying between pushes consistently. And so these these deaths, Wall dying to Demento, and then some. I remember on the respawn, sorry, on a, the offense round that AD had when Wall respawned, Demento caught her out again back on the spawn, and so she couldn't come up to get her Uber back up. You just see that. KND just seemed to consistently delay these Ubers, and there was nothing like that coming out from AD either. So just at the end of the day, Nursi just got so many more Ubers out at the right times, and Wall couldn't get that done uh, in order to contest. And apart from that, what's interesting to me is that even though KND wasn't doing kind of strategized, coordinated pushes, or, or I shouldn't say coordinated, but they weren't doing kind of more meta, regular pushes. A lot of these pushes seemed really scrappy. But really what was happening is that at least they all went at the same time. A lot of what AD was doing seemed like they just wanted to Uber their demo in and see if they could get things to happen. But um, KND just actually bringing their players together, everyone coming in at the right time, and then most importantly, they actually focused the cart down during the pushes rather than hoping that the pushes worked after the facts. Because like uh, Zagron was saying earlier, is that on second, you know, they didn't actually get many kills, but the entire time the Uber exchange was happening, uh, KND just brought their players, sat on cart, and even though they lost the players, they got all the cap time they needed, and it works out for them. Yeah, definitely. And I do want to point out another stat line is that AD's pick classes have been very up to stuff this game. Uh, Mad 15 kills to Dementos 18, Shay 15 to Boar 16, and Shay even slightly edging him out in the SVS 6 to 5. So if the pick classes are working, right, then it's clear just the micro in, in the Ubers that's uh, having a lot of bearing on the fights. We do see, like you said, Wall, a lot of her deaths were in off-fight time where it put them off of an Uber cycle. And with that, Candy was able to get so much ground. So if AD's combo was able to come together, they definitely have the DM to contest KD right now. They're just not playing as well as a team. And part of that might be because Arts is missing. Yeah, just yeah. again. Oh, you got fire. No, I, I definitely agree with that. With Arts missing from this, they're kind of missing the main calling and the leadership that they need to. So a lot of their pushes are just really, really off kilter, kind of off balance. I'd love to see that when they come in on this uh, second second round here, when they come in on this offense, they're doing defense first, obviously. But I'd love to see them try something a little different, maybe rotate players out from, uh, from Shutter on the second push and try pushing through Tunnel, through Main instead. You know, try something a little different instead of uh, bashing their head against the wall repeatedly, so as it were. Yeah, it just, I, it, it doesn't even, to me, it doesn't even feel like they look that bad on offense, where, like, their, the initial parts of their pushes into first looked really good, or second, excuse me, looked really good, and that's, you know, where most of that time came from. It was just the, the, the second half of it, right? Getting into apartments is only half the battle on second. They were able to do that. It then comes down to securing all that large open space and actually getting the cart capped. We saw them take third very quickly, although that was thanks to Nursi dropping. And fourth, they lost their med and still came at it very fast. So really, if they can shore up that second push, I think they've got a decent enough shot at this. Yeah, definitely, I would say so. And a lot of the fight in that second, as you pointed out, comes from trying to you know retain all that ground, making sure that your cart pushers have room to move. And when you can't do that, a lot of times it's down to your main call or not calling focuses or just the focus calls being not followed or off. So I really would look for them to kind of shore up that calling aspect where they're able to collapse on the kills, get their damage down, and get the cap faster than they normally did last round. So Shay, entry pick on Oblivion is just a second. Or it's just first point. Shenanigans would be uh, will be over in a second once that card gets around and we will likely see AD just back up. Boar going down. So Shay getting an edge in that SPS for this half. Yeah, I know. There's Mad taking out Jared in the pit down there. Really looking for teams to uh, pull out the water sim. You have your sniper sit on the full pack, stay hidden in there until the med peeks out of spawn. Really try to get that up. That Uber ad feels like the type of uh, cheeky play that AD might pull out, but looking to play it a little bit more conservatively this time. No cheese really coming out. Haven't seen any flogs yet either, so that's another thing that uh, River has been known to do. Oblivion as well, I believe, sometimes, but. Ultimately, everything looking pretty stock so far. And to me, the lack of cheese shows that they have confidence that they're able to fix their errors and really contest k and and hopefully take them these rounds just playing their normal game. And that's that's very good for me to see, because if they have confidence in themselves, then we can have confidence in them to try to improve as this match goes on. We do see Habib and Bandy going to take the side tunnel, try to spam out X's gun. It gets wrangled at 1 HP, he's trying to fix it, and Bandy will go down by Wish on that peak, so... Uh, and Soldier stops spamming, he's going to get the dispenser, X can't protect both. And here's the Uber in main while that's happening. 
Yeah, it's coming right into upper right now. We see Jarek getting caught in a little bit. That's going to be Kresnik and Banny going down. Jarek gets caught out as well. Nursey keeps her life here and is going to keep tanking Boar right up in front of the shutter. Gains, gains the shot onto River, actually. So the post thing, uh, excuse me, the post frag, a good thing to come up Banny. with. As Banny just botting in right now, looking for wall. <laughs> Not gonna find her as she actually finds the arrow kill onto him, but Exa gets killed by his own gun off of that, and Boar gets the shot onto Ronnie, so chaos in the post fight. Yeah, no teleporter is up for Exa, so Ronnie's gonna have to take that long walk if he wants to get into upper in time. It's so hard. We do see Kresnik standing at the shutter with a fist to keep it open for Boar. Right now, they have AD have no way to contest the shutter, so Boar has a free reign. They can't peek that doorway, otherwise, they're gonna get their heads taken off. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, you get a little cheeky with that if you're the demo man, but when Boar's the sniper on the enemy team, you do oh, not you don't wanna. want to walk into that man's sight line as Arani's going to have to cross it with the Fist of Steel. Still eats a lot of damage doing Exa it. Exa got up too. Yeah, Exa takes spy, a body spy. shot. And yeah, here comes in the Spy. Going to get Lazar, and that's going to open up the floodgates. They're coming in on this wall, not building quickly, only at 90 right now. Going to be jumped on by a blitz. Finds the WM1 kill onto her as this Uber is going everywhere into second. And we talked about find, taking control of that open space, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Killing seven members of AD. And here comes in Jarrett looking to get a spawn camp going onto AD's third spawn. Such a good play by Demento there to go for the demo man. Because right now they knew, because Demento probably called it out, that they had a small Uber ad. If that demo man is dead, you can push through without worrying about getting shut out by stickies, without worrying about getting your Uber denied. So as soon as that pick comes out, Candy flooded into that upper apartments area. And that's such a clean second take for them. I don't think they lost more than one member. Yeah, really just a clean push out of them. Jared and Bordo going to go down to death up in choke. But Frags traded back onto Ronnie and Mad, so... <laughs> we will see Nursey with a slight ad right now, but AD not too far behind. Yeah, not too far behind indeed. Well, only 10% back. KND looking to regroup in that apartment side on second, trying to wait for their Uber to get that third push going. It's been a bit of a weird Swiftwater game because third's been where a lot of the action's been happening, so a bit abnormal. But we do see Wish going to jump over into the apartment's area, gets tagged by Mini, trying to get Habib and Boar out of there. Boar looking to just peek that angle down into that window. Not going to find anything quite yet, so a bit of a calm before the storm right now as both meta to have hit Uber. Yeah, as uh, they, oh, they are going to go in though. Jarrett popped up immediately, not going to be able to get the most out of this. That is going to be Ronnie getting caught in the corner, but this gun is going to absorb most of the damage from this uh, offensive Uber while Lazar getting deep into choke. Help Mad take out Nursey. Jarrett going down as well. Kresnik and Oblivion, it looks like, still going to be in a little bit. Kresnik finally going down. Mad gets a 3k off of that big kill, but the rest of KND is down. So is AD, though. Frags everywhere. We're spinning up. Playing on card. Going to have to clean it up with River. The hit scan comes through, and they won't manage Boar's, to hold this. Boar's still up on that window, though. Wish going to run at him. Very quickly tries to shut down and jump in from Dev as well. So good surf from Boar, but will fall down. Gets an arrow, or gets the pack, and will live for a second, but he will go down. KND, his combo's right outside of this, though. They're looking to chase back probably into this apartment they will slow it down since board did go down uh both meds about 40 percent and waiting right now candy are in this side apartments watch out for shay though he's looking at that angle yeah we hear a headshot go off but no kill yet kresnik hurt on the boilers as a habib gonna get popped up forced out of choke will go down shay going down to boar losing the svs there but KD still not having a lot of ground in scratchy gets air shot by dead great rocket coming out of him as kresnik still on the boiler is going to be forced back Surfs into Red Room, gonna get the pack there, and it looks like the aggression has stopped for now. Dev, fantastic bomb to get that rocket onto Boar, kills him so his medic can come out and peek. So, AD able to retain this third hold. This has been their strongest point of the map, which is strange, but they do have uh, Uber coming up to contest uh, Nurses, so this will be another standard exchange, and every Uber you get on this third is very good for you. Demento gonna stop that card from moving backwards. We do see Bannies behind in the choke waiting for a flank play. Uh, so he's kind of stranded out there. Ronnie J been playing cart all third. He does such a good job of keeping time on that cart, making sure that no one can push in without being contested. Dev sitting above the shutter is interesting. He Uber's can't actually out. spam in. Here's the Uber. Yeah, very early coming out of Nursey there. They are going to get Shay, Exa, and Dev very quickly, but the way better Uber comes out of the red side. Oblivion and Scratch are going to be the first two to go down, but Crescent coming in from Red Nursey's Room. Nursey's dead. Coming in, yeah. Nursey goes down, but the rest of AD is crumbling. Wall's going to be caught out in front of her own spawn by Wall, getting killed by the same person who killed her demo. And we will see KD come in with the cap here, six minutes through third, which I believe is almost exactly the time they said in the last round. Yeah, still very good start for... Uh, for AD, but Mad giving a saw over to Nursey is not what you want to see, so they're going to have a very sizable advantage off that. And a couple kills in, one onto Wish. Jarrett is holding the outside of this ramp, and AD can't walk out yet. 
The boar getting very aggressive on the actual capture point, just staring down that ramp right now. The angle is the only thing giving them cover, but any they, anyone peeking forward, you're likely going to have their head blown he's off right so there. He's so far up, if anyone yeah, sees they us, even, they can take him down. Yeah, Ronnie could kill him right there, but he doesn't even know he's there. Finally, he goes down, Oblivion as well, so two kills for the Heavy on AD right now. Presnick, though, close on the ledge, going to start spraying, as both Heavies are in a head glitch battle right now. The mini from Scratchy being wrangled, being caught out, actually, by the incline as that car starts Here's to the ramp. Yeah, Uber comes out right now. They're getting super aggressive with this wall gonna go down. Didn't yet have Uber thanks to that saw given over by Mad, and here comes K and D. Yep, and with that, it's going to be a clean fourth take. AD completely shoved out of this fourth point to have no one even close. Shea gets a consolation snipe onto Boar and escapes into spawn, but it's not enough for them to hold this point. K and D, seven minutes, that's above average time, very slightly. It's pretty close to average, uh, maybe as well. So, Dev walking out does get that kill with the Jarrett. No Devil Man's gonna slow your roll into this last point wall on a 10% diss side, but likely will have Uber to contest Nursey. Demento got bumped going up into that upper house, so they do know that he's in. Exa gonna be looking, and that gun does shoot at them. It looks like he's just trying to gun it down a bit. But on the front end, two kills from Boar and Kresnik on Targani and Wish, so no heavy scout. It looks like they try to peek out Shutter, but nothing doing for them. And now, Nursey building better than the wall. That's a 15% add right now. Yeah, that's one of those things that you always have to keep into account. Nursey always feels like she just builds 10% faster than everyone else. And here comes the KND submarine. They're all gathering on card right now. Kresnik riding that thing in. Ronnie looking to go down. We see River jump down. He's going to get levitated off of it. They gotta get on gonna it. get on it. Yeah, Ronnie's the only one. The Uber's gonna come out. Actually stops Fanny from capping for Wall's just 95. a few more seconds. Yeah, wall 95. Can they get in on time? They cannot. Shay on the cart, not gonna register it. And KND comes in with an eight minute time. That was two pushes in that round, I'm pretty sure, that KND just took because Wall was at 95% Uber. Nursey's building is just so good to get those advantages. And they have to know. Like, Demento has to be calling this out that, oh, you're building better. Like, oh, okay, Nursey probably knows that she's building better, right? But. This communication has to come through that they know that they are able to stack on that cart because AD are not going to have Uber to drop down on them. Because if they have Uber to drop down on them, they all die. So story time real quick. Uh, the first time I feel like most meds coming into Invite or Plat or whatever play against Nursey, they'll be scrimming or playing Candy on a Koth map. You're sitting at 90% thinking what you want to do with this Uber and then suddenly a scout is shining in your face, meat shots you twice and you never touch the point again because that's what Nursey does. She's so skilled and medic at getting those just, you know, small percentage leads in terms of how efficiently she's healing, gets that uber faster than any other medic does and just comes in with it. And K and D is a team able to take advantage of that, you know, ability that she has to just get those slight uber ads. Again, you mentioned it. We saw it twice now and it's really, you know, giving them a couple points here. Yeah, definitely making their pushes and holds that much stronger. Eight minutes is their final time. That's a slightly above average for Swift Water. You normally see like nine minute times nowadays. So that's definitely a good foot forward for them. Or that snipe on the Shea on the defense. Just, you know, entry level tunnel fights going on. Bit of entertainment, some showmanship at this point. But Dev on that roof, Kresnik peeking him. Just waiting yeah, for that cart of, to get around the hairpin. Lots of kills right there, actually. A little bit yeah. more than you normally see on first as a. Uh... Lazar gonna get taken out right there. River, the next one to step up to the tunnel entrance as Boar lands another shot onto Ronnie here. There comes in River, gonna actually take out the beef, catches him out, blows up that dispenser, which ultimately not gonna mean too much as a Boar trying to get a little bit of a cheeky angle there. Gonna be forced the back by Matt. You kinda wanna have times two on this. I don't know where their scout is. Yeah, so. probably wish dead dying to Boar yet again. <laughs> <The trend laughs> yeah, so. It's a bit unfortunate. Demento gonna surf out with that spy skull, and he will be safe to keep calling these positions. So good play by him. Okay, so carts passed first, downtime over. We do see AD grouping outside of the upper apartments again. Once that cart gets bit forward, we do see Shay in tunnel, gonna look to take that fight against Boar. They're both playing on that rock angle. Boar moving into side tunnel, gonna look to just try to find anything he can. He's playing close, which is interesting, because he can do this if he trusts uh, his flank to protect him. He can't get rushed from side tunnel type thing. So, very confident play by them. Mad gonna get killed on that. You see what happens, you know, Boar can do that when that spy is gonna get killed by Banny every time, so... Right now, just a bit more positioning going around as the peek into upper is out here from AD. Yeah, it looks like they are just as quickly as they peek in. They are going to peek out of it, though, as Banny and Boar are combining to get more frags he get for again. KND. Yeah, he did. As uh, we are now playing Snipe the Scout Fortress 2, and uh, Wish really needs to stay out of those sight lines because he is just a liability at this point. Yeah, definitely not having the most impact so far. AD still positioning on this upper. Demento gonna get that kill into Shea, trades his life for it, but no sniper means Boar has more of that free reign. He's so close in this tunnel. Wish is peeking him again. Can he hit the shot? 
no, he misses that one. So a bit more cart pressure coming out, but here's the Uber. Here's the uh, pressure in from upper through the door. Yeah, Uber coming out right now. They are going to get the force out onto Nursi, but defense does have the better Uber. Flashes onto Ronnie, but Lazar going to be left stranded in the middle of the entire KNT defense right there. They got the Uber out, so now if they try to go for another uh, dry push like we saw in that first half, it may be successful. And Wish got a bit of revenge on board there, so he will not be up to contest. Shea, though, going to get killed by Demento, so neither team having a sniper at the moment. Tunnel is being pressured right now by both soldiers as River trying to heal up on the Spencer. Mad going to go in through main. Gun is still up, is important to note for the defense right now. So that's another target they have to take out without Uber. Yeah, just really need to get in there right now. And Nursi actually down a little bit in the building to Wall. We did see Wall pop off her Uber earlier. They're actually now sitting on almost a 15% ad right now. And River in, going to actually go down to the gun. So a bit of a feed from right there. Though. But yeah, that is going to be a soldier down. That can mean more tunnel pressure. But Ooh. Demento in tunnel going to uh, watch as Shea takes off or Bor, excuse me, takes off Shay's head. Yeah, so both medics gonna be waiting for Uber here. They did not go off that small advantage though, so AD not able to make the same thing happen. Dementor going down, no spy to worry about, and they're looking to peek in here as right as Nursi gets Uber. Yeah, it's gonna see if they can find anything this time. No one actually committing yet, but here comes in Lazar, and they are going in on this very early pop out of wall, and Oblivion just pogoing Lazar back. The Uber finally comes out of Nursi right now as River had flanked around. He's still gonna be sitting in the bottom there, but no, they will catch him out. He will go down, not able to find any cheeky flanks. But Wick finally gets revenge onto Boar right there. And the rest of AD coming in. Ronnie getting some very good damage on taking up Presnick and Obliv. That he is going to finally go down to Jarrett, leaving Wall and Exa as the only two remaining in upper. Kind of stranded in there. Nursi alone in here right now. X is going to find her. Can he take her out? Gets her low. Oh, finds the kill. But uh, there goes Habib coming in behind, taking out Wall as well, so the meds are going to trade. So here's the thing, they have upper, right? That push was successful for the most part. Uh, k and starting to get more people, but they did not get any cart pressure. The flank from k and were able to completely negate any tunnel pressure that AD had. So they have to now reset, and it looks like they're going to be sending combo members into tunnel to try to deal with that. Yeah, and again, that's just what we were bringing up in the in the first hand. They're able to get him out of upper, but they're not able to actually get the ground required. Though Shane landing the snipe onto Boar, Banny going to be going down as well. Mad taken out, but pressure should still be in favor of AD with Sniper in tunnel right now. The gun above side tunnel calling way back out to the season 12 days. As we see Habib bombing in, got his tail off a little bit to keep his life, and AD is not able to find any ground in here. See, you say the pressure should still be with AD, right? But because of all that pressure and time that the flank bought, they're able to get back upper candy. So now candy are back in this upper hold. Wish doesn't really know that yet, gonna walk into the full combo, set on fire, gonna die. So candy able to reset off that AD's full pressuring tunnel, trying to get anything they can at this point. The combo's the card, out. The card's very close though, it's just Banny on here. If Ronnie's able bomb to in. take him out, which he is, yeah. We see the bomb coming out of Habib, but Ronnie's still on cart. He might not just ninja this cap and sees Kresnik dropping down, kills him before he can take the pack. But that is gonna be a five minute second push with only three minutes left on the clock for the next three points though. KD looking very poised to take this into map two. They milked every possible that second they could have out of that hold. Their flank and combo both doing their parts to put this round almost out of reach for AD. They have to not stop on their way to last if they want to have any chance of this. But Candy looking to set up that gun in underneath, and their medic right now has a 30% Uber ad, so not looking very likely for AD to snowball. Yeah, not too much of a ground for them there. They found the drop onto Nursi in that first half, but the amount of times you can rely on getting that, not very high. The crit comes out, I think. From Wall, was that a Chris or was that Frontier Justice? No, it's Frontier it was Justice Exa. from Exa. Not gonna be able to find anything with it, and AD is getting mulched and choked right now. Yeah, they gotta try for anything. Like I said, they can't stop moving. It's only two minutes left, and w with that push failing, ultimately, this round is pretty out of reach for them. Yeah, we see Bliv and Jarrett just sitting on card right now, denying this cap, wanting to uh, stop it right here, taking not leaving nothing to chance. Wall gonna get popped up by Habib, takes her out with the rocket. Not as impressive of an air shot as before, but still a very nice one, especially considering the class that he killed. Okay, lads, stat padding time. Whoever gets most kills on this third hold will be the real winner. We just see Dev gonna bomb in and get killed by Jarrett Stickies. Pressure out of apartments trying to come out, but they just get shut down for sniping Ronnie. But Shay trading back onto Jarrett, so that's a nice pick to go in. No demo, man. Katie uh, holding the ground here, and because of that, we just see Mad walking up. Spy fight going on a bit right now. Dementha's chasing Matt so bad. Matt still got Kresnik despite Dementha chasing him. So pressure in main, Uber trade coming out. It's all for show at this point. A minute left is not enough for two points. Yeah, River was able to air blast the rest of KD off the cart long enough for them to cap, meaning they will get spawns now, pushing them closer to the action, allowing more stats to be padded.
Ronnie J walking up, trying to get some damage down. One HP, man, will survive and eat that sandwich for sniping Shay. Traded out by Wish, so Wish getting more revenge on that. Coming back in that dead time. Right now, Candy are set up on this fourth area. Mad, go for the instant decloak. You have to. He is gonna decloak. He is gonna find. They, they heard, they heard him. Bottom, his bottom out a little bit too decisive. And Wish here is here. Wish is here. Yeah, will four find his mark? He will not. Wish search all the way out. Wall. Both meds killing the people. Kill onto Danny. Yeah, we are going down to Nurse's crossbow. As a president close in this corner, gonna deny even trying to come out of that window. And Candy's just kind of a little frisky, playing with their food. Yeah, 30 seconds left. This match is all but over right now. We just see Kresnik getting killed there. So, yeah, you know, they're, they're eight down, they're six down right now. KD are losing this point. 15 seconds on of time. First round will go over to KD. Very convincing swift water play. Yeah, and you know, this is their map. I was thinking that Aiden might have a bit of an upset chance on this just due to how, you know, how much variance you can have in swift water rounds with those third holes and, you know, depending on who snowballs what points and when. But KD, again, we'll kind of take the 2-0, as we, I think, we expected from them, as uh, KD's been just so dominant all season. Really, I think they've only dropped a couple of rounds to a handful of teams. So AD now going to be moving on to their own map in Asheville, but we can still talk about Swift Water a little bit more. And to that, I'm going to throw it over to Flair. So the first thing I want to draw uh, attention to is basically the exact same thing happened again on the uh, on Candy's offense as it did on first. You'd see a lot of just wall dying at inopportune times. And so when Candy was attacking third, fourth, all those times, you'd see just wall wasn't building fast enough and so nurse was able to just push in constantly without and get significantly better ubers in even though you'd think oh yeah wall's holding getting an uber in like six seconds late but it's too late at that point uh candy just comes in cleans up four or five people and by the time they get their uber there's not not enough time not enough people in order to do anything with it and uh there was one moment in particular on um on uh the one last one there on third i believe it was when candy you called it out as Nursey using her Uber pretty early, but actually what happened was Mad came in from the back and uh, butter knife Nursey a couple times to force her to use that Uber. And even though it was a really inopportune Uber use, there was so much discipline coming out from Candy's side. They all collapsed in the moment. Nursey said, hey, we got force. We're walking in. And instantly, Kresnik comes in from Red Room. Habib bombs in from apartments. Everyone just walks in at the same time. And even though it was just such a theoretically crap Uber usage, so much discipline coming out from Candy, Candy on that. And at the same time... um. When you see uh, Polodosh come in and try to take this fight, they just didn't have that same kind of discipline, that same kind of coordination. You guys brought it up uh, in the middle of the cast. They did manage to su successfully take apartments on second and be able to pressure that upper area. But that whole time, there was no cart pressure. It seemed like they didn't come in as a team. So Candy just ultimately out really just outmaneuvering them. If you take a look at the logs, the flanks didn't outperform each other by any particularly significant margin. Combo fights are actually fairly even, but all these things just all combining in together to just have Candy edge them out. Nothing's particularly signif statistically significant, but it's all the little plays that bring them in and make them the first place team that they are. Yeah, the, what I, the only two stats I really want to point out are uh, Nursey had two times as many Ubers as Wall, 10 to 5. When you have double the Ubers as the enemy medic, it's really, really hard to lose. That's twice as much time that you cannot be damaged. So... Nursey just able to build Uber so well. They're keeping her alive at clutch situations where Wall is not being kept alive. And they're just able to use that advantage all the time. Candy's so keen. Like you said, they're so good at coordinating their pushes together, speaking to each other. It's so hard to get nine people on the same page in Highlander, but they're able to do it season after season. And the other stat I want to point out is Boar heard us, you know, saying he got out sniped by Shay in that first round. Man decided to top frag the server and win the SVS while he was at it. So 24 and 15 stat line for him, really picking it up at the at this grand finals. Yeah, just outstanding play coming out of all of the members of K and D. But again, though, I do want to bring up, you know, some of the bright spots for AD. We mentioned their pick classes did very well in the first half. Second half, Mad had some picks there. Shay was able to find some openings, but ultimately not the best what i do really want to look at is you know moving into Asheville that flank because even though wish was having some issues with boar dev managed to pull out a 22 and 11 actually tying or no a little bit behind boar for the top frag in that round there so good on him to be able to do that and he's going to be the player i think we really want to look for moving forward now into Asheville. yeah and earlier when we were talking at the top of the show about the map picks we pointed out that AD had their choice of Product, Cascade, and Asheville for their map pick, and they chose Asheville. So they chose 
probably the best soldier map out of the three to try to give Dev as much of an advantage as possible to help his team secure that map that they would need to go to the tiebreaker. Yeah, just, again, it's going to be such an important thing to see if he's going to be able to continually outperform Habib here because, you know, you don't you don't want to be put into the position of saying, all right, who on, who on K&D's roster do we want to beat? Normally, that the person you don't immediately jump towards is Habib, but given AD's current roster and where their strong points lie, that's what they're going to have to do. Yeah, and coming into Asheville, you're relying on that flank a lot if you're AD. You also need to make sure that you can keep their combo in check, because Asheville is an interesting map in that the defending team doesn't always have the point presence because of how you have to hold. You have to hold back on ramp. So KD's aggression on Asheville, if they're able to get forward on the sides and make AD feel the pressure, feel the heat to pop Uber early, then their combo could really be a big detriment here, even if Dev is popping off on the side. And yeah, despite, you know, all of the kind of anti-sniper propaganda that goes around Asheville, the map still can be very powerful for Sniper if your flank is having that advantage, if you can protect him. And Shea, again, going to be someone that, you know, we saw him in the SVS in that first half. If he can kind of pull that out again, he'll be, he'll really much, he'll, yeah, excuse me, he'll really help AD going forward and trying to bring this to a map three. Yeah, and uh, Flair, if there's anything you want to say about what you think AD needs to do to take their own map pick, lay it out for us. Hmm, I've... I mean, this is Asheville at the end of the day. A lot of it's going to come down to how well you're, you enable your flank to get in behind them. Uh, I know back when we were watching some other, uh, uh, it might escape some, but we are watching another Asheville game at some point. Uh, you'd see a lot of, oh, it was, um, I believe it was Invitus versus the Specimens. You'd see the Specimens, what they did that Invitus did not do was they brought their flank in during every single push, every single mid-fight. And that's definitely something we're going to have to see AD try to do. You see a bit more communication between the combo and the flank, especially because Asheville's such... It's such a map where the flank can can really go hard. The scout can run around this huge playground of a map. The soldiers can jump in and really initiate fights and even clean up post supers wherever you need to. So, you know, Lazar and Ronnie J, excellent combo players, but they're really going to need to talk their flanks to make this one work. And if they get, manage to sit around and play in front of Shea, excellent sniper, then maybe they can even start trying to pull off some forward holds. Maybe a little cheeky things here and there. Sure, it's it's um. I know earlier you were talking about Swiftwater and how you, they felt more confident in their standard stuff, but I do think if they're going to try to pull this off, they should uh, maybe have an ace up their sleeve or two. Yeah, yeah I mean, we'll see. If you know any of the players on AD, you know they're uh, they're they're pretty fun loving guys. So I think if they're able to kind of pull off some of that less rigid and just you know straight up. Uh, I don't want to say boring play style, but you know just sticking to what everyone always does. You know maybe see some interesting. Uh, weapon choices or some otherwise questionable plays come out, it can really loosen things up for them right now, because I doubt they took this with Footer Loss too hard, but uh, mental is still going to be important coming into this. And Zach, do you want to run us through this first mid, what we should be looking for? Sure, sure. We do see Jarrett and Lizard both going through Shutter. Lizard a bit of health advantage, but one stick from Jarrett will negate that. So right now both demos trying to get spam across. Both combos are going to walk over to that ramp area. Snipers both peek out of Shutter at the same time, and Shay hits that SVS. So that will be advantage coming through for AD here. They're able to peek out on point as they like. Yeah, Habib going in deep onto bats as well. Going to be taking down the scouts, finding many kills so far. AD, though, looking to have the better of it by just a little bit. Going to be first out onto the point. That wrangled Mini on bats. Going to be doing a lot. As Wish goes in deep. Going to be taken out by Scratchy. That, so that Mini finally going There's down. And yeah, Shay gets the pick onto Jarrett. So no demo man means AD should be able to win this mid fight. Yeah, Boar gonna just get back from spawn, gonna peek Shutter, but will get stickied off immediately. Scratchy's Mini is very annoying, as is Access. But bomb in from Habib, and here's an early move from KD. Yeah, they're going to be forced to take this very early when they don't have all Wall their players. Gone. Yeah, Nursey just being forced back right now, and Wall will, will kind of make them relinquish point control for now. Here comes the Uber back out. They want to catch Nursey. Here comes Lizard Lizar getting aggressive. Not going to really hit anything onto her. The Jukes coming out, though, but there goes Exa going down. We're going to find revenge onto Shea with two picks of his own coming out there, and KD may end up winning this mid fight. Uh, it's just such a weird situation for KD to just win. They lost their sniper immediately off of that SVS loss. Wish got two kills on the flank, and then they lost their demo man to a snipe. Nursey still got Uber first and forced AD to back up and retake space, which got them time to get their spawners back. So, Candy's just able to pressure even at a disadvantage. AD gotta find a way to get into this game, get their heads in, get their team rolling, because to lose that mid must be demoralizing. Yeah, and Bora looks like is heating up, already sitting on a 5k so far this round. 
They're going to try to get aggressive right here. Lazar going to go down, but they do take out the flank of K&D right now. Something to possibly work off of. Wall playing near Shutter with Shay right now. Ronnie alone on these crates. Going to try to get some ground, but ultimately going to be forced to kind of stall out as despite the picks onto the flank AD, not able to push into K&D, especially with the Nurse's Uber. I'm seeing a lot of large points where Wall's Uber just isn't charging. Like, they were at 60 for over 5 seconds. And every second you waste not charging Uber is a second Nurse. He gets to sit pretty on this ramp with a full advantage, so... Right now, we're trying to get pressure RAD out of the shutter. They're going to get forced back by spam coming from Habib off this roof. And they're going to retain point presence KND. So, really just a bit of a dry pressure coming out. They lost a couple members, but they will be able to get them back. Jared being down, though, does enable AD to walk forward here as well. Finally has Uber, and they're going to walk off bats. Yeah, Jared, though, going down to Ronnie, got a little bit too aggressive there, I want to say. Maybe he got caught out from lower, but Boar finding Wish yet again. The cycle continues. Here they walk up, though. Here comes the Uber. AD has the better pop right now, but they are very split. Habib in deep on bats. Boar managed to ring off another onto Exa, and they are down numbers here. So even with the better Uber, they are going to be forced back. Mad finds the big kill onto Kresnik, but AD has pushed, been pushed so far back off of this. It's just looking so sad for AD at the moment. You know, they're, they're playing with what they have, but it's not enough. They're not able to walk past the point, really. I don't think I've seen them, you know, even get onto point so far this round, aside from that initial mid where there was no sniper and demo man. So right now, uh, Dev gonna bomb in the back, try to get some distraction along with his team. Neither Matt has Uber, so they're looking to dry pressure here. Nursey popped up on ramp, but Shay gonna get bored. So that's our, a bunch of kills going over for AD, and they're gonna be able to take their first cap of the round off of the dry push. Yeah, they have a lot of people up right now. Didn't cost them too much. And here comes Habib, gonna maybe oh, try to get someone. He got headshot. Oh. But yeah, but there goes Ronnie. I think he flanked around the long way. Yeah, went into lobby and took out Nursey way in the back line. So there come those uh, non-traditional plays we mentioned. Managed to escape too. Must have ran in through Shutter and just escaped. So that is gonna give Wall near full Uber ad and things may be looking bright for AD right here. Yep, they're going to be about two minutes behind, slightly under at this point with that uber advantage. So Candy going to look to pressure off of Bats here to try to get that forced. Uh, they have a lot of time to work with Candy, so they can make a lot of plays to try to get this uber and get themselves an advantage back in the round. Banny jumping over the over the roof there, going to help force that uber as the pop in is in here from AD. Yeah, AD feeling a lot of pressure put out by KD right now. They are going to keep most of their players alive and find a ton of frags right here. Importantly, though, Nursey, not one of them, escaping all the way back out onto Bats. Despite Dev just got Dev's, air piped yeah. <laughs> when he tried to sack for Nursey. So great play by Jared to keep his medics safe. And now they're going to be at a 50% advantage. Going to be ready to retake the point. One more cap and then another defense, and they will have this first round. So AD got to find a way to get some, some ground back here. They're not going to have Uber to contest, so it's going to be up to their kiting. Yeah, Ronnie looking to maybe play a little bit towards under. May go for something a little bit cheesy here. Gonna start pushing under right now during the cap. Backs up, though, as the Uber comes out onto ramp. Wall gonna be far away from that. Ronnie wishing Ronnie Jay all gonna be going down. Yeah, Dev uh, getting caught out as well. Habib, though, in lobby, a little bit too aggressive, so they are gonna have a potential frag to push off of if they extend his if they extend his spawns here. Yeah, that said, they will end up seeding this point. A minute left for Kandy to hold, but Wall does have the uber advantage this time around. So AD going to be able to regroup and push back on. They got a lot of time. They got a minute and a half off that cap. So that's if you can get half of your time gone on a cough round with one hold, then they definitely have a chance in this round. They only have to do it one more time. So uber is had by AD. They're going to walk out shutter immediately pop. Yeah, but here comes Habib right now coming in on the back line, but he's not going to find anything right there other than Shay. But KND, excuse me, is going to be forced back from this. Nursey does not have Uber yet. We will likely see the cap come through, but no, they're getting forced off of it right now. So KND, Mad's without even Ubering, yeah, Mad's on Nursey though. Is he going to be able to find anything? Doesn't look like he will. Death. Frags are going to go over though. Boar and Kresnik both going down right as Nursey comes up on Uber. So AD likely to cap this. 10 seconds before the clock for KND, but they will have to go against Nursey's full Uber here in just a few seconds. Yeah, Nursey has full uber. Fantastic play on that end by Dev to use the distraction of Matt to get two cleanup kills. So he does buy his team that point control out for now. While only at 50% uber though, so Candy have plenty of time to make this work. One more capture and a couple kills and this round will be over. But either way, AD have to find a way to defend. Yeah, Nursey and the rest of Candy getting aggressive on point, kind of testing the waters a little bit. And they're getting a lot of cap time before they even have to pop. Kresnik is dead. Kresnik, yeah, going down though. So numbers are in AD's favor. But again, Nursey still has that ever important Uber. Her and Jack getting aggressive, gonna be popped off onto him and Vanny. The air blasts coming out of River are very strong right now. If they cap AD, this, then AD have to recontest. Quick. Yeah, AD dying, losing a lot of numbers, and with only eight seconds left, AD's gonna have to take this fight with men down. Here they come in, the wall does have Uber. Lizard jumping forward, but someone needs to get on that point. It Which will does. be River on flash right now. They force out and kill Jared. 
but no frags onto KD. Otherwise, safely cutting that off on ramp. The cap may come through, but no, they're going to be forced off of it. Crescent Creek and Shutter, too much of a uh, threat right there. As him and Nursey going to triumphantly walk back onto this point. Cap wish. time going down. Yeah, Borg gets wish one more time for old sake. Matt unable to find the stab, and KD going to pull out round one. It's definitely a pretty good salvation from AD to even get below one minute on the clock there after the abysmal start to the round. So they definitely have what it takes to take KD to the brink here if they're able to just perform from the start. Dev, we saw, get so many kills and enable his team a lot at the end, so we'll have to see if they're able to continue that, that streak to get back into this game. And yeah, another mid coming into here. Ronnie getting forced off on bats. He's gonna trade with uh, Vanny, but Shay finding the mid fight win onto board yet again. Hopefully, he's gonna be able to do more with it this time than they did last time. He gets a he blip too. too. So that is a lot of important players down for Candy. Habib also forced out very low. Kresnik caught on ramp, gonna go down to the cleaver. Scratchy taken out on bats from Dev, and thankfully it looks like AD's uh, early sniper pick will translate into a mid fight this time. Yeah, they clean up on their mistakes of last round, so they do have the advantage in this round that they should have had before. Right now, they're at a, they're even Uber with Nursi, not building that much faster as she did lose players. So both sides gonna have Uber for this first push. Candy are grouping up for this bats push as they do so often. They don't like pushing shutter. <laughs> Boar dropping down, he's doming wish. That's the yeah, entry. They're gonna friend. use it across. Lizard's left out to dry. Yeah, wall super deep on ramp, unable to save her demo man. This is gonna be a pyro Uber now, but he's getting popped up by Jarrett. The Wrangled Mini gonna force them off point right now as enough players on Matt, AD though are dead. He did, that's gonna be huge going forward in this fight. And that Wrangled Mini from Axa now without any heals gonna be enough to keep them this defense. Was looking bad for them with the amount of players that died in the start and during that, but Mad Ringley able to come in in the back and salvage that defense. That's the kind of big play you need from your pick classes when your combo makes an error. Dropping Lazar there is not good for you, but they do manage to salvage it. Wish gonna go down on that roof and Habib's gonna get behind because of it. So now, although they have the point, they do not have control of the mid area. So they're gonna get kind of bullied out of shutter here. Dev bombing it onto Nursi. One rocket, not enough to keep going, but Shay killing Dev or Kresnik will be able to get pressure and Lazar getting the pipe onto Habib. So the point isn't capped by KD here, but the health on AD is so bad they're gonna be forced to back up and rethink. Yeah, Ronnie getting sniped out there, going to be more meaningful than Shea's frag onto Kresnik as you want that heavy there for the point defense. But AD though, getting a minute and a half off the clock from the start, a lot better of a start for them this round, while sitting on about even Ubers with Nursi. So if they're able to take this back in short order, which Shea's repeated snipes onto Boar, another one here should help, may enable them to do so as Habibs gets aggro into the lobby. Wall got sticky trapped by Jarrett jumping off of there, got killed, so now Nursi gets a free uber to use forward into the shutter of AD. They're gonna drop Exa, they're gonna drop River, and they're going to lose everyone that they had ready to pressure. They lose five overall in the fight, so clutch play by Jarrett there to give his team some time back after that first blunder, so... Right now, Candy are gonna be able to equalize the time, and they will have a 20% uber ad to work off of as well. So, yeah, just tragedy strike for AD, just when you think things are going well. Shea getting aggressive onto this point, gonna force everyone back onto the ramp site. Here comes in Habib, gonna take out Wish right away, but he should go down without taking out anyone else. Shea gonna be brought low, but ultimately won't die. Banny found Lazar somewhere else on this map. It looked like that was under bats right now. He is not gonna be going for any more of a uh, deep flank, it looks like, but... Unfor no, yeah, no, he's all the way out, but unfortunately for AD, this is just more things stopping them from pushing the point. Yeah, the Mentho is chasing right. Dev back a bit. Dev is on that bat's flank with Mad Ring Me, so we'll be able to see if they'll get anything on that. Nursi with an Uber ad, still hard to contest, but a snipe onto Jarrett might let them walk forward and drive push. Dev gonna get killed on that flank while River gets the spy pick in exchange, so both teams down, not too important of a player, but Jarrett being down will enable AD to walk forward here. Yeah, Wall just coming up on Uber. Nursey's gonna be forced to pop first. Wall getting some good flashes off as Ronnie now deep on ramp. Gonna force Nursey to keep the beam on Kresnik. He's gonna win that with a better Uber. They're getting cap time. Kresnik's down. He's behind Scratchy now. Takes out him and the mini from the enemy team's barrel. So the cap's gonna go through. Here comes in Jarrett looking for the sack. Not gonna find anything. Those Exa has a level three outside of Shudder. Now Banny gonna get skyboxed off of that. Flying all the way up. And, uh... <laughs> A good retake for AD here as they're set to a jump candy in time back again. Yep, and they have a 30% add as well, so Nursi not going to be able to build that in time to get it off if she wants to before AD has theirs. So, Gun going to go down, Habib getting that spam rock. It's actually going to have to rebuild in Shutter here as he looks to do just that. Candy looking to dry pressure off of Bats, and here's the bomb in from Habib. Going to hit one rock onto Lazar, but not anything else. Wall so far back with this. They're trying to get pressure, but Dev and Matt going down going to buy some space. No soldier to work with. You have control of Zerif, and Exa not going to be able to wrangle that gun either. 
Yeah, just again, when anything looks like something is going well for AD, Candy's able to just turn it right back around, going all the way in right now, and that Wrangled Mini going to be doing so much work, as we saw Exit doing before it finally goes down. Bore out on barrels, could have a shot here if anyone peeks, but ultimately it looks like KD going to have a couple of losses, but a little bit delayed on getting onto this point. Yeah, that's that Nursey full Uber, going to be trying to get the force is dev, but he gets blasted up into the sky and reflected, so Nursey full Uber, and they're going to regain point control. 22 seconds left for AD, it's going to be about 15 once the cap comes across, so they're definitely in a good position to build this Uber and get one more fight in. That said, Shutter Pressure coming out, going to kill Exa again, and they do get that cap down, 13 seconds left for AD, so one more push is all they need to take around here. Yeah, just... Again, Candido looked a little bit uncharacteristically sloppy there, not getting on that point faster with the advantages that they had. We're gonna find Wish yet again. The saga continues as the legend of this man getting shot repeatedly is uh, one of the major stories of this game right now. But AD, though, still, with the amount of time they have, they still need to actually get onto the point and take it away from KD. Habib gonna go down. Shea finds the fadeaway onto him just as he's about to escape. Wall coming up on Uber. We should see something coming out soon. Yep, they have a small 7v9 Shea, though, gonna get traded by that sticky trap. At least it's not your medic this time, as well. It does have Uber, and they're gonna pop first. Yeah, so this will be River, River in pushing into ramp here. Gonna get forced back by Jarrett. Gonna get forced back on his side as well. So neither team has on the point right now. Right now, spam going across onto ramp. Bomb in from Jarrett on the roof, trying to get spam back as well. Actually gonna wrangle that Vanny, so no scout to collapse. And two kills in on the post fight is gonna give them control of the point. But Candy has to contest. It's less than 10 seconds for both teams. Yeah, AD is in. The ball is in their court, though. They need to get on this. Here comes Kresnik backing up just as soon as he goes in. And great shot out of Shea. Able to take out Jarrett. No more demo men. No more explosive damage. Is that AD going to come down with a point in overtime? Both meds are under 60% right now. Uber should not be a factor into this. We should see spawns coming up for KD very soon. But Boron Demento not going to be there in time. So Mad coming in. Not going to be able to take out Kresnik. That would have been a huge pick. As Oblivion is in Shutter, but he's not going to be on the point. Get on it. Yeah, they just didn't get on the point, and AD is going to take the round. What a beef at the end. They had complete control of mid. Everyone from AD was getting out, getting ready to just get a recontest in that double overtime, but Candy not even touching the point, so it is one-to-one -one here on Asheville. Jared going to switch out his rollout for this mid, going to try to go onto bat four as well, as he's not having, having a good SVS on mid versus Shay from Shutter. so Candy looking to slow play a bit more this time. Yeah, we see Scratchy already with that mini set up and wrangled. Exa not answering that. Ronnie gonna be another early frag again this time. Habib skybox on bats gonna manage to escape actually. Finds his way out, but K and D has a ton of pressure on this mid, and this is looking like the fastest midpoint of the uh, of the rounds we've seen so far. Yeah, that slow play from Bats definitely a lot better for KD. They're able to kind of draw out AD's aggression and get those kills in return, so they will take that first point. I don't know what happened to Wall, but she's 20% behind Nursey on Uber, so some building not doing well. Nursey could just pop out and they could bomb her and she wouldn't even get an Uber off. Here's the Uber. Yeah, it's gonna come out right now. River's she's gonna do his best to deny she just it. We'll get in time. They're gonna have to pop onto Ronnie as Lazar gonna come in on this now with Wish as well. Gonna force Candy back and they Habib. may end up with this mid. Habib in on roof, gonna be forced down into lower. Only Here's a recontest from Ramp. He's gonna get the pack, but yeah, Ronnie being forced to play in a very awkward spot as the captain gonna keep coming in. It looks like AD should be able to claim this. But uh, yeah, KD not gonna have too much to say about it. Only able to find Shay on that even, and he's already respawned. Yeah, they did get 35 seconds out of their first hold though. So KD gonna be at a small timeout for a bit. Neither med gonna have Uber for a while as well as both are below 50% right now, around the 45 mark. So KD looking to drive pressure with that space they have in mid. Demento calling that out for his team. Gonna sap this gun as well, so it's not even gonna be a factor here. Flank underneath from Dev and Ronnie, and they're gonna kill Nursi. That's that, that, again, the unorthodox plays we're talking about. Ronnie keeps pulling him out, even if Carson may be the better pay player on paper. Ronnie has those big moments that AD may just need to kind of come oh, out Wall here, though, unfortunately. The yeah, so. Wall going to go down, though, with uh, with her heavy flanking through lower. So a bit of a double-edged sword, but Candy will come back in on this point. Nursey going to be sitting on a little bit of an Uber ad right here. So now, again, the ball is in AD's court. KD has the time advantage, and it's still taking down, so they need to make something happen, and fast. Mads in on ramp, G does get Kresnik, so that'll be a good pick for them to work with. Dev bombing in is a bit late for the distraction, so they do trade pretty evenly there as Demento will get killed on the backside. But here, jumping over our uh, Scratchy and Vanny, gonna revenge crit wall down from that flank, so AD just not ready for that one as their medic does go down. Nursey at an 80% ad right now, and Candy's gonna retain full control of the point. Scratchy coming in huge with the Frontier Justice. We've seen Exxon on it a little bit too. 
but uh, not as much impact as Scratchy's gonna do just dropping in and finding the med. So AP sent back to the drawing board right now as Wall now sitting on an 80% or so disadd to Nursey. They're really gonna need to either try to find a force or a kill onto her, something it really feels like they've been unable to do while she's had. Yeah, we haven't seen Mad been able to get a really important medic drop yet, as well as Dev not getting in at the same time. So if they're able to kind of coordinate that, they have time to. Their medic's only at 40%, so they can definitely try to get something going. Habib going to be the first one to bomb. Going to jump over, surf out, and live if he can get healed. So interesting play by him. He does escape with his life, so all is good. Right now, there's still only 60%. Here's the bomb in from Dev, trying to get the pop, and he does. Nursey forced on that point, so AD going to try to kite this out. Okay, but the rest of AD needs to live here with how little time is left on the clock for the immediate repush. Wall, it looks like, is going to keep her life right now, and thankfully no really other casualties on AD are to be had. She's on 90% or so right now, so there should be an Uber quickly. Gonna have to maybe wait on uh, Lazar. Is he gonna get caught out? He will. Banny finds him. I'm not sure where. He's in spawn. He's well, Lazar point. died early, and then Banny spawn camped him, I think. Oh, that he did. Yeah, he's back there right now, pushing back onto Bats. May find Wish, too. But no, it looks like he's going to be forced back further into AD's own spawn. And despite yep, having killing this Uber ad, yep, <laughs> Mark it's down. over. So, Benny spawn came that demo man actually buys them a full, you know, 15, 20 seconds to wait for that respawn because they can't push without him. And here, they finally got it back. They are going to push with 10 seconds left on the clock for KD. Yeah, the Uber coming in right now, but Crescent just takes out the fists and just walks away from it. They're gonna force them off, get some point presence right now, but with Banny and Habib behind, they had to focus the entire Uber on that. Here comes the repush from Candy, no one on point, and it's gonna end just like that. Yeah, return to form for Candy that round. They're able to convincingly hold AD off of too much cap time. I think that's the biggest landslide of a round we've had so far on this map. So with that, Candy go up 2-1, to one, and I do believe it is best of, or first to three, rather. So one more round, and Candy will be your champions of Season 3 invite. Yeah, we are on Season Point right now. And here comes in Habib, gonna miss his jump actually, he bumps his head on the uh, on the ceiling there. As a Wish getting a little bit aggressive on this roof, a little bit of a slower mid so far. Both teams I think know what's at stake here, don't want to risk it on something uh, stupid as the Mento gets caught out. Banny gonna get stabbed by Mad, finally able to find that pick he's been waiting for. And the numbers advantage is an AD right now, but they're content to keep continue slow playing Look this. at Lizard, he got blasted onto the enemy fans and gets killed uh, by piping himself on Kresnik. So they're going to be down the dome, man. Shay getting that mini uh, Wrangler down, so no annoyance coming from there. X is going to be able to wrangle his onto Boron, those fans. Bomb in from Dev on the back end, not going to get much, as they do lose three players AD. So they do have Uber, both teams have Uber, no one's even stepped foot on the point yet, as Candy are going to walk forward for the first time. Yeah, Boar gonna go down, Shay able to find it again, but Oblivion's super aggressive on ramp, so those players that went down for K&D are gonna already respawn, and they're just gonna take the mid off of this, despite being so down, or excuse me, down so many players early. Habib goes down, but still just uncharacteristically slow play out of AD, it felt feels like. Yeah, and they did not opt to use Uber, so they will be doing it here to try to contest after Candy's already capped. The Mentho gonna go down to no spider web as the Uber exchange is here on point. Jarrett gonna get unflashed, pipes himself back, but will get that Uber back. AD lo looks to be a bit better as they're gonna push Candy onto ramp, but they don't have as many people out here waiting just yet. Yeah, good shot out of Shea though onto Banny, gonna take out that pesky scout. Preston very aggro, gonna be hit very low, brought back as Habib going over, takes out Shea. Gonna hit Ronnie low too. He may, he won't find the frag. Ronnie gonna get an arrow, but even then, Jared is raining stickies onto him. The arrows continue to keep him alive. He's gonna eat a sandwich down underneath the the, the garage overhang, and it looks like AD finally getting onto point. But just as I say that, they get right back off of it. Demento scaring him away. I think he's on ambassador. I want to say able to land some uh, headshot her head, or harassing headshots, but they will come down to the point. Yeah, but a bit of an extended fight. AD did lose a minute, and Nursey has a 30% out over wall. Not sure if that was just from building, since they did pop at the same time. It likely was, so such a massive advantage is going to come in. Candy going to drop off bats with that, as do have now trying to contest point. I don't know if AD knows that they have quite yet, but this Uber will come onto the enemy ramp. Going to herd AD all back into their lobby. Air Blast from River are going to buy them time, but Lizard and Ronnie have gone down, so they're going to be forced to back up and see the point again. Yeah, and just like that, KD's right back on the point. They had a little bit more time taken off of it than they did last round, but KD able to manufacture the replay very quickly. Nursey's building, again, continuing to be maybe the MVP for KD of this match. Just basically gifting them that free push and 30% for Uber. That's, that's a whole saw. Yep, and importantly, River did manage to keep his medic alive with those air blasts. So now Wall has the 50% advantage. They're going to have to fight in. They're down about 30 seconds, and they're going to push out of shutter quickly here, trying to get that Nursey kill. Yeah, and there goes Jared though, being taken out by Shea. River gonna take out Habib as well, so tons of players going down. Demento finally finding his uh, headshot onto River that he's been looking for this entire time, I think. 
but it might cost him this. Is he though? He comes in, gonna take out Ronnie before going down. Master of Disguise. Got will, uh... Did he? Yeah. Yeah. He's, it looks he's like an he underneath did. player now. So yeah. AD does recap this, but Nursey did not get killed you know, as per usual. So Nursey gonna have that 70% advantage to work with. AD gonna have to kite this out as they're down 45 seconds about. So when Candy gets this back, they have to make a decision: do they stay in and try to kite and fight, or do they let the time tick down until they can find the next Uber? They're gonna run out of time very shortly. Yeah, they're gonna need to do something about this Uber from Nursey. Nothing really looking to force her as the Uber will get off. Shay and Wish already being taken down. The push is gonna go in. Nursey and Banny super deep into ramp right now. River's gonna keep his life while uh, forcing them back, so good on him to do that. And the AD combo has rotated up to bats now, but there really won't be any contest. Yeah, and Candy are going to take that cleanly. They did use Uber, while has 90%, so if they want to go soon, they won't lose too much, but Ronnie going down will not help your case on that end. Hadoub going to get air blasted into the corner, so he does get killed. Matt is the trade on the other side, so Candy are down one, AD are down two, but Shay, snipe onto Jarrett. That's such so important for entering into the point, and the Uber is going to come out here. They're trying to get Candy herded backwards into their ramp. They really have to kill Nursey if they want any hope of this round, but she's hiding so well. Yeah, the Leapfrog is going to continue right now, and with so few players down on KD, some of them just spawning, they'll be lucky if they get the cat. Boar on bats, looking to force some of them off of it. He, they, he should uh, not be able to find anything too important, and the cat will go through, but guess who's on 95% Uber right now? It's Nursey dropping right off of bats right now, and AD is not winning out in the time exchanges here. They're going to need to do something to stop her in this Leapfrog, because it's gradually going to wear them down. Yeah, Matt trying for a drop there doesn't get it. He really needed that. So right now, AD walking forward, but Oblivion and Banny get dropped before the Uber can even come out. So they're trying to edge point a bit. Dementha going down is going to call for the back off. So with both minis being wrangled, it's just Jarrett and uh, Kresnik on the point. They're just going to have to pop here once they get pressured. Wish trying their hardest and death bombing and will end up getting that force before they can count. Oh, uh, wall goes down to Jarrett right off the bat. So the Leapfrog has ended and it's going to be going in K and D's favor. Just over a minute left on the clock for AD, but K and D's going to take it back. They have only 48 seconds remaining. A river gets a good reflex onto Habib, but with only 45 seconds, Wall and the rest of AD don't have time to wait for an Uber if they legitimately want to keep this season alive. It's so crucial for Jarrett to hit that kill, because otherwise, as you said, the Leapfrog keeps going, and they just AD just have another push ready right now. But because of that happening, 30 seconds left for KD, a minute left for AD, and the medics are about even. In fact, Nursing has a 15% advantage. So a lot harder for AD to work with this. They can't get any pressures. 20 seconds are left. Shay dead. No sniper to help you to back you up on that point. Banny is the trade back, and as well as Boar going down, so no sniper. I mean, you can't contest. But look at Exa with the level 2 wrangle. He's going to move that out to try to pressure point for him. Yeah, this is all of the eggs are in this level two basket. They're gonna, it's gonna go down right away. Oh no, you Lizard's can dead. that. Lizard getting stabbed. All of the cards are coming together for K and D. Only a little bit of time left on and the point. Uber. The Uber's gonna come out. Wall's only 90. Gonna, yeah, wall only 90. No one to heal. Forced into lower. The time's gonna run out, but no. The Uber comes up. She's on Ronnie. They're walking forward. Kresnik and Oblivion going down. Just when Candy thought they might have had it. Dev it's got gonna go so right many kills. Over. Dev, yeah, coming in on ramp. Gonna help clean up all that damage. X has rebuilt the level one in Shutter. Ronnie has a little bit more cap time up to go on it, but this season is not over yet. AD will not go quietly. And importantly, they got a lot of kills on the back end of that. Even though they didn't get Nursey, she had no one to build on. So the Uber's only 5% apart. This will be an even Uber exchange for their season. Gonna come out here soon, but Wish trying to bot at Nursey. He's one more meat shot to get that kill. Takes her down to like 10 HP. It's so close, but no cigar for Wish. As Candy looking to bomb over, trying to get kills. Habib in, gonna take out River and Shay. That's a great way to Nursey's lose the mad. Finds the stab onto Nursey. That's what they need. Wall only 70% right now. 40 seconds still on the clock, but there are so many people down right now. Eight. Candy is so much to pressure. Get off of Oblivion them. running in right now. She's only at 80. They need to they need to stall this long Oblivion enough to get over. But Oblivion's in on her. He oh, tries to get the melee. She just needs to keep healing right now. She'll get it eventually. You heal, you regen faster when you're healing. And she manages to stay alive through that harrowing experience, but any bit of damage may kill her. Demento decloaking in. Oh no, never mind. No, that's just him walking past. Gonna go for the decloak now. Will be caught out. Scratch well, trade for Hexa there. Oh, yeah, but Wall gets the force off though. They're coming in on this 10 seconds left. Nursey in shutter right now. They're gonna take out Jared and Demento with this Uber. It looks like things are all coming up AD's favor right now. Oblivion, Chris, and Nursey all walking in right now. There's Nursey Bobby got with Shay. the fist out. He's, yeah, Nursey's gonna take out Shay, but Ronnie is shredding the point. Nursey gonna go down, and we are in an overtime round here on Asheville. Oh my god, AD have brought it back from the brink 2-2, two to two. that one pixel of their heavy's foot that kept that point overtime ticking has saved their season so far. Oh, it's the tiebreaker round to go to the tiebreaker map, but still AD have got to be proud so far, and they have a bit, hopefully they have a bit more in the tank to take this all the way. Hopefully, yeah, but they are not out of the woods yet, not by any means. They still have to pull out another round here 
again, a bit of a slower mid that we're seeing. Ronnie in the same spot. He's gotten killed on bats the past two rounds, but they're not going for it. Matt gets caught out on bats to open out this round. We're just going to need to wait for someone to go. And Demento going in for the stab, not going to find it. But Beam going over, getting reflected. So the numbers are in AD's favor. Candy dropped off of bats really early. They're kind of playing under this side house exit right now, trying to play underneath. Banny going to get dropped low. So neither team has walked forward on the point yet, but AD do have high ground on them if they're able to spam down. But Lizard doesn't know where the sniper is, so he doesn't want to risk his head off that one. Neither team has even touched the Chris point yet. pushed a blower and killed Ronnie. Took a book out of his own, or page out of his own And he got wish too. Get wish and death. The 3k from Bobby showing his wisdom adapts correctly. Boar lands the snipe onto uh, Jay, but there's still no cap time on the mid. Candy just now getting onto it. We're almost a minute into this round, and they're still not even done capping it. Yep, although it does look like the, all those kills are going to force AD to walk backwards. Mad going to go for a kill on Nursi at the end, doesn't able to find it. But here's the Uber out of Shutter. They don't want to let any time go for free here. Oh, and there goes in Dev. He's going to get Nursi. I think that's the drop out of there. Was not expecting the soldier coming in over the top. And things are all coming up for AD right now. But Fanny got going to go back to... end. Yeah, that's not going to help them. But they have enough dead on KD that Ronnie should be able to cap this. Habib and Boar, really the only two in position to stop this at all. And they're both very low. Who's going to go down to Habib? This is but still yeah. mid, by the way. Point yeah, hasn't this been is still yet. hasn't been capped yet. AD, though, has players flooding out onto it right now. Bit of an ad for Nursi, though, un concerning that Wall hasn't been healing anyone yet, but they will finally come down with this mid. Yep, and Ronnie going down to the back end is not going to be good for their chances of holding it right away. Wall's well, almost dead again! Oh, he's he's going to go forward. down, just so much pressure coming out of K&D. Yeah, they were just, Candy knew that they had damage, they knew that AD were not set up yet, and they walk out to try to take as fast as we can. Neither team it wants to give up any time in this round because of how close they've been up to this point, so Candy gonna take it right back. 20 seconds off for AD is not that much, but still, it's a foot in. The problem is Nursi's Uber. 85% as Wall starts healing just now, so they're gonna have to make a play to get this Uber off of Nursi. One drop is not gonna be enough for this round. Definitely, and I want you to look at the stickies that Jarrett has put out onto this That's wall. That's anti-bomb stickies. Yeah, exactly. They're looking for one thing and one thing only, and Dev may or may not see them. He wants he, to go, oh, and he goes. He doesn't late. get in time. He's late. He gets one. He gets the two. Force. Gets the force. Great job out of Dev through the fire and the sticky trap. Getting in on Nursi, forcing that Uber, giving Walt back an advantage. But unfortunately for them, though, they are still only 40% right now. Ronnie's going to go down as well, but if, they'd like, if they could push right now, they'd love to, but I don't think they can. Yeah, they're going to drop two players in, Wish and Ronnie, so they're going to have to regroup on that. This mini from Scratchy Wrangling on from fans onto the enemy bats is so hard for the combo to deal with as the stick has to get far. But Exa got his level two. It's going to take down Scratchies in no time. So that's going to be a small advantage that they get back, but they have to wait for this Uber. They're 90% dropping off bats. They do have the out over Nursi. Yeah, and they're going to walk forward with it. They just need to make sure no one gets dropped. River sitting a little bit low, but here comes the Uber. Wish going in on it. It's a great sticky, but he gets <laughs> He's like flying gone. away. Thought he was going to surf that right into Nursi, but a second one, I think, sent him flying. That pressure will be enough to get them onto the point, though, but we are entering back into this Uber Leapfrog. Point not even capped yet, and KD almost has. Wish needs to finish off the cap, and he's not going to be able to. Time's still ticking down for KD right now. Boar getting chased very low. He's going to back up to ramp right now. They're all grouped there, but Shay is dead. Chris was able to take him out, and still no cap, and now Nursi is Uber. scratchy off the roof with the bomb. No one has walked onto the point in a while yet. Lizard going to get double headshot by Boar as the Uber does get forced out from KD. So oh, Jarrett flying in, trying to get wall, will not be able to get her, though. She escapes behind that wall, but that is not what AD wanted to see. They had that big thing. head. Oh, can he get her? No, oh, he's no. Oh, Ronnie, Ronnie with the flank from Ronnie Lord, we're going to wipe the rest of KD. <laughs> Oh, Habib, he's gonna take him out too before he trades with the soldier. Cap's gonna come over, but KD now under a minute left on the clock. They needed well, to get that cap a minute ago, not right now. Wald, though, has 75% Uber. There's gonna be about an 80% add by the time Nursi starts healing, so they definitely have ground to work with. Although you can't lose your sniper like that, you gotta protect him, make KD work for this point pressure. As now, they're still gonna jump on. Dev doesn't see him yet, and Habib gets this trade off. He might. Oh, he will Dev get the, turns Dev it around. It. Great play, but Demento, on the other hand, has gotten both Exa and Shay, two of AD's best players for denying the area on this point. Wall's going to be forced to not drop the demo man, and here comes in Wish. Nursi's They're going to so try low. to find Nursi. She's very low, but no, the air blast's going to force him back. They're not even going to be able to get Kresnik, who's under the point right now. Dev's going to call him out, but he's not going to be able to do anything with how little health he has. Mad takes out Jarrett, which should help that, but Nursi still now having add. The leapfrog is going to continue yet again. 
Yep, and Nursey on this path, but Wish walking at her doesn't isn't able to hit the shot, so she will retain that advantage. It's only 70% to walls 30, so if AD are able to back up and get time, they're able to come back in. But the pressure in from Kresnik and the Mentor are going to get two kills, River and Shay going down, so they're going to see this point for no Uber at all. And Nursey still on 85, going to be 90 shortly. Candy have a minute left. Yeah, X's level 2 or level 3 is going to go down, and K&D is now about to hit their victory lap. 45 seconds on the clock right now, full uber for Nursey. AD is going to need something huge to come out of this, just a really That's well played fight. Though. A pick, and look how far back Nursey is on ramp right now. She's going to be so difficult to force. They just got to get in oh on this. Oh my god, Wall got Wall gonna, Oh, going to go down to the Wrangler. Fanny hit her with the meat shot, and then the Wrangler just beam gonna take her down Devin Shea falling and that felt like AD's balloon just got popped all of the helium is deflating and KND is rising and they're looking to be season three grand final champions yep not no plays able to come out and mad not gonna find anything their medic dying off of bats and they lost everything so far just trying for any point presence that they can running and get taken low but does live last second ball from Dev gonna force this uber but all candy have to do is stand on it yeah Nursey was looking to use that anyway to secure this and with that Wrangler kill, Scratchy is going to be the hero of tonight as K&D come in with the close 3-2 on Asheville. They will be your Season 3 champions. And deserving champions they are. They come in on their map pick. They put on a clinic on how to push Swiftwater as a team. We, we saw Upward be banned against them all playoffs when it mattered. And even then, they're able to transfer their skills to their own map choice. They come in to AD's map choice. It was close. It was exciting. But they were the superior team in the end. And they are the best Highlander TF2 team we have to offer. Yeah, and I'm just super glad AD was able to make it so competitive. That that fourth round was an absolute barn burner. Unbelievable. AD was able to pull it back from the brink. And I'm just sitting here wishing that we had another map to go to because I'm not ready for this season to be over yet. Yeah, definitely. Such an amazing season coming through. We do have Candy, our first place. AD have taken second, and the Specimens have taken third. So those are your top three finishers. They will be taking home that prize money, obviously with Candy having the best chunk of it, the lion's share. And <laughs> the season, it was a good one. Yeah, definitely. I feel like there were a lot of close matches that we were unable, uh, unfortunately, unable to get here on the stream, thanks to some uh, some surprising upsets by certain teams. But ultimately really was a great season i mean i wish i wish again we were still going a little bit longer just to you know keep the keep the fairy tale alive but k and d i think a lot of people were expecting them to take it from the start they were able to but i was i was coming into this expecting honestly potentially a, a 2-0 than a 3-0 for k and d so just the fact that ad was able to show how much they improved how well they were able to compete with you know the titans of, k, of tf2 that really are k and d is a great thing to see and hopefully we'll be able to see even more out of out of them come next season Yep, we can pull up the logs here for some last uh, second looking over them and some analysis coming in. We do see Banny hits the top frag. What do you expect? The man is a monster. So he has 400 DPM on Asheville Scout, even with all those sentries being in his way, that Exa having so many minis and level twos coming up. Uh, Ronnie, great effort from him and Wish. They both dropped 30 kills. Ronnie with a submarine heavy play. He'll do it on Cascade. He'll do it on Asheville. So <laughs> interesting Honestly, coming out Honestly, saved them the game. You know, yeah, he yeah. kind of so said that as a bit of a meme, but really just came up huge with it. Able to find the kills. But before we go gently into that good night, I want to give Flair a little bit more time to speak his mind. And with everything going on there, the only thing that I really want to hear from you right now is what was K and D's X factor. What you know, we saw how close these two teams played on this map. Could have gone either way. What brought it home for them in the end? Really, it just I. It's Nursey. I mean, we we know that it's. We were talking all about it, praising her to high heavens on Swiftwater and here in the same times, just coming out with those Ubers, really great Uber timings coming, building them faster than Wall can. And just every time you need Nursey to show up, she shows up. Um, and probably honorable mention to Habib coming on in every single one of those pushes and getting tons of kills. You know, you see Banny up on that top right, but right below Banny on the side of uh, KND is Habib with 28 kills as well. Banny cleans up a lot of those kills, but Habib constantly initiated a lot of fights, made a lot of space for his team. So shout out to both of them, Habib and Nursi, really pulling it in for the team. I do want to point out, though, as well, that um, this Asheville just generally seemed to be the map of X factors tonight because it didn't seem like AD was having any luck at all with any of their prepared strats, their regular pushes. And then suddenly Ronnie pulls out the submarine heavy, Mad comes in with a clutch nursey pick on that fourth round to secure that push. It just seems like when they decided to stop trying to be the, the regular, the, the disciplined, good team, and they just decided to have some fun and pull out what they're more well-known for, some of those clownier, but 
definitely more off the wall strats. They actually pulled in a much better performance and actually took off those two rounds off of KND. So yeah, definitely bringing in more of that Apollo Dosh material, you know, brings them quite a bit more performance here. Yeah, they're definitely one of our most interesting teams in the league. Anytime you think you know what they're going to do, they do something different. And I really hope that they are able to continue forward as a top invite team because they add a lot of spice to our, our pool. Yeah, definitely. But uh, as for Season 4, that will remain up in the air. We'll be bringing you the Region Wars Cup coming out in a few weeks right there. It looks like we're going to be having six regions, I want to say. Should be New York, Midwest, uh, SoCal... Great Lakes, I think, South and a European team coming at you, and I believe ProSide is going to be featured in that, which should be pretty interesting. But for the foreseeable future, RGO will be shifting over into Prolander mode. Commander and Q, I see you there in chat. I know you and all the other Prolander boys are hyped for that one. So we'll be, uh, I believe that's going to be two weeks from now the season's going to start. Not sure on that date exactly, but uh, should be happening pretty soon. So that's something to look forward to, but it doesn't look like we're going to be doing interviews tonight, so I think we're going to transition into the wrap-up here. So, uh, Flair, Zag, you guys got any shout-outs to end the season off on? Oh man, shout-out to AD. They put up such a good game. They're such a good team that have improved. They're, they're one of those teams that has stuck it out for so long in Invite, despite never quite being the pinnacle. They're always up there. They're always putting on a show, and it's really just a treat to have them in every season. Yeah, and uh, shout out to Dolphin, by the way, man on the camera, always there, ever watchful, blinking every time, you know, uh, RGL production would not be the same without this man. So thank you very much. Everyone give some love to Dolphin. Yep, hearts in chat. You guys know the drill if you've been watching any of our previous casts. And I guess I want to I want to close it out, I think, with some shout outs to Flair, your team, and uh, Blue99 with Next Gen Flow, and all of Shroom Gang, too, because I really feel like the future of this game of you know highlander and competitive tf2 are in those teams that are willing to step up into invite give it a try you know know that they're not going to be competing for a playoff spot they're not looking to get anything out of the season but they just want to go in there play against the best that there are and get better and i think that being able to do that even though you know you guys don't get the the spotlight come playoffs right now it is just you know i think the most noble thing you can do both for your own gameplay and for the state of the game so Glad to have you guys have completed the season, and I'll be looking forward to seeing all three of those teams in Invite next season should they stick together and hopefully compete with some of the more established names. But I think for now, that is going to do it. So I'm Alto, and for Zagron, Flair, Dolphin, and the rest of RGL, congrats to Season 3 Champions K&D, and thanks for watching.